Welcome back to this new Pizza Ray tutorial in 2023. Today we want to create an abstract car scene, so let's jump right in. Okay, here we are in a fresh Blender scene and let's delete here our cube. And first of all, we need a plane, which will be our floor today. So let's get started with this one. Let's uh, change this to 20 by 80. And we can rename this to floor as well. And today I want to use here uh, one car from my asset folder. And that is here, <laughs> as always, uh, the DeLorean. You can use any car which you want to use. So you know, feel free to do this. Uh, I want to put this here in the center. So this is uh, 1.5.36 in the Z value. And the Y, it should be on zero. Okay, and I want to uh, rotate this one a little bit to, to one, 212. That's the final position here for uh, the DeLorean. The next thing is we want to import here an FBX, uh, which is a truss. We'll put a link for this one into the description. We want to import this one here. And we only want to use for our scene here the six. Uh, so let's delete all the other stuff. Maybe let's hide here the DeLorean because we want to change or bring this here into the center, which is really important for the next step because we want to put all this stuff into geometry nodes. So let's uh, select this one. Let's go into the edit mode, press A to uh, select everything. And now we want to put this one here into the center and align this a little bit. <laughs> so maybe let's go into the uh, wireframe and we can align this here. So the line will fit here into the center. I think that's okay. And now let's go back here into the material preview and yeah as we can see we don't have any material here on it but uh, we will change this later let's hit into the geometry nodes and yeah let's create a cube and this is here uh, truss uh, truss and let's put here our <laughs> our truss into a new collection so let's uh, press m new collection underscore truss and let's hide this for now and now we can re-enable here our gn truss let's make a new one cut the line here and we want an info search for an info collection info because we want to put other stuff uh, later here in this uh, collection now we want to use here uh, mesh uh, mesh line and an oopsie and an instance on points now let's bring all the stuff together let's put the mesh into the points the collection to the instance and this into the geometry now let's select here the truss maybe and let's hide this here for now i want to close this one here as well so you can see a little bit more let's make some changes here in the mesh line first let's change the offset to endpoints we want to leave this on 10 here but let's change the start location to 40 and let's change the end location to minus 40 and the z value to zero now we want to uh, scale this one up here to three that's looking better and i want to change here the rotation to 45 yeah now we can go ahead here and bring uh, this to the side so let's search here for transform put this one here inside and i want to push the stuff over to 6.5 later we want to put here a light on the side and yeah then we have to mirror this to the other side otherwise the light would be on the wrong side so uh, let's go here and search here for a joint geometry Put this in between and now we need another transform and put the geometry here <laughs> into the geometry and then here into the joint geometry and now you can see that's uh, here on the side here but let's change here now the translation to zero we only want to change the scale in the x to 
to minus one and now we have mirrored uh, this one yeah this one to the side now we can go ahead here with our truss so maybe let's go back into the layout mode and enable re-enable here our truss now we can bring in here a cylinder here and the cylinder is here shade smooth and now <laughs> let's change here some numbers i want to go here into the scale and bring this to 0 0.018 by point point zero eighteen and change the y to point four okay and because we have rotated this one so let's put the cylinder here into this one and now we can see where uh, let's go here into the mad cap random you can see this one better and now when we're uh, placing here this cylinder <laughs> everything um yeah now everything changes here in the in the geometry nodes so let's try to put uh, the light here on the side um to maybe let's see maybe uh this one is good here i think this is good as well maybe let's put this a little bit up to four three or something like this so this is our light here in the corner maybe let's uh, see maybe we can push this here a little bit more to the side and now we can see that uh, the lights here on both sides correctly um, that's cool here for now uh, let's put here our delorean back so we can see a little bit more what the scene should uh, look like later so uh, let's hide this one for now let's hit into shading okay and now we want to shade here the floor so let's make um, material for this and i got a cool texture from textures.com which is a concrete polished i want to select all the stuff here all the three three textures and put this here in by the way if you don't have the node wrangler plugin enabled it will not work if you're pressing shift control shift and t so you have to search here <laughs> it's always for the wrangler so node wrangler enable this one and then you can press control shift and t you will get this window and select or the textures okay now let's go ahead and bring in here some magic so maybe let's uh, change here to rendered we have one light in our scene but that's not really important now so let's change here a little bit the mapping of our floor so let's go ahead and change the scale to 4 by 16 it's a little bit repetitive but later when we are changing our camera it will look better so and now we can go ahead here and uh, enable here some reflections so let's go to the color ramp and add this one but first um, we have to enable the ambient inclusion bloom and screen space reflection um, so let's do this here really quick so now something is going on here but we can change here now the reflection a little bit more when we are going here and bring all the stuff a little bit down maybe to something like this we can now see that we are having here some imperfections going on which is cool yeah let's leave it now like it is but we can change this one later and let's jump back here into our um our truss and i want to add here uh, or change here some stuff so we can delete this one and i want to go ahead here checking uh, this one here maybe let's hide the delorean here for now and go into material preview so let's we want to chain shade this one smooth here and we want to go ahead and change this color a little bit down here to something grayish something like this and metallic one is cool but i want to change the roughness here down to point uh, one four one so it's a little bit more metallic here right now and for the for the cylinder i want to uh, go ahead and make this a little bit neonish so uh, let's make a new material change this to neon and we want to put the stuff here into the emission first we need a fresnel put 
this one here and I want to pipe here in a color ramp, put this one into the emission and maybe let's go back into the render mode so we can see what is going on here. Maybe uh, let's increase here yeah, this one to emission strength to 40. And I want to go with a only with a orangey white orange, something like this. Um, something like this is cool. And I want to um, go a little bit down with the IOR here. So maybe to something like 0.5 or 0.55, something like this. But you can play around with this. So that is not so brightened up here. And it looks a little bit more realistic here. And yeah, maybe let's put the roughness down and yeah, leave the specular like it is. Because we are uh, using Eevee, we have to uh, make some uh, some yeah some cheating or <laughs> um, improve this. And yeah, that's not a real light here, as you know because it's only a mission texture so we can do this by adding here a new area light and yeah we want to go ahead here in this area light so um, when we are putting this here into our trust collection we can see that um, yeah, all the lights uh, all the lights are multiplied here in our geometry nodes which is cool and now we have to put the area light into the right down to the right position so uh, we can do this by going here first in the layout mode so everything is a little bit more visible for you and now let's change the rotation to 45 by 90 so it's here on the corner and now we can try to uh, put this here into the right spot i have here some coordinates so let's go with point minus point one five seven by point one seven five let's go with point four i think that's okay here for this one and now as you can see the reflection looks a little not so good here yeah to prove this we can go ahead here and change this rectangle to uh, this shape to a rectangle I want to change this to 0.87 by 0.04 so it's a little thin here but I think it will fit better here and now we can go ahead here and change the color color as well to an orangey orange white and I want to increase this to 500 and I want to enable here the custom distance and change this to five and yeah let's enable shadow and contact shadows now let's hide this now and now we can unhide here our delorean let's uh, change here our camera a little bit so let's go into our camera view and i want to change this to zero by no minus 9.5 by 0.8 want to rotate this by 96. Point two by zero by zero and we want to change here the focal length to 25 and to get a better view i want to enable here the pass per two and we can go ahead here and hide here our light which is from the beginning so let's delete this and i want to bring in here a cube which is for uh, the fog so uh, let's uh, scale this one up here to 30, 30 by 30 by 30. And I want to change this to 16 in the Y to bring this a little bit here to the front. Now let's go into the shading, add a new material, which is fog. I want to add here a volumetric scatter. And let's put this down here into the volume and now we can change this here into a grayish grayish of this one and i want to change the density to 0.1 and then as a trophy to 0.58 okay and yeah to get a little bit of contrast uh we need 
some other lights. So let's go back here into the layout mode. And I want to add here a new light, which is a point light. I want to change this here to a bluish color. Maybe to something like this. Let's increase this re really high to 12,000. Okay, and I want to change the radius to 9.8. Let's leave the cast and distance as, as it is. And now we want to go ahead and put this here into the back. So let's go with 11.5, 31 and 16. And let's duplicate this light. And we want to put this to the left side. And as you can see, the scene is a little bit, for me, a little bit too glowy. So we can go here into the bloom settings and bring down a little bit the intensity. So, but that's, that's up to you. And I want to go ahead here and change here the color management as well. So let's go here for a high contrast or very high contrast that's up to you yeah to match uh, the background yeah let's uh, change the background to something bluish but maybe let's bring this a little bit up to see what color we are choosing here something bluish now we can turn this a little bit down so we're having a little bit more uh yeah no no dark spots a little bit more light here on our reflection so maybe something like this yeah the last one is <laughs> as always for Eevee uh, let's go ahead here and uh, yeah bring in here the reflection plane let's scale this one up and I want to change the fall off to zero and put the distance a little bit up and maybe let's enable here the show preview plane press G and Z so we can see here in the preview plane. Let's hide this one for now. And as you can see, it's not much, but I think the reflections are better. If you want to have a little bit more of uh, the floor here, you can play here with uh, this ramp. So if you want to have a little bit more reflection or stuff like that, and that's up to you. You can play with this here and that is this abstract car scene here for today if you like this stuff and if you want to see more stuff like this check out my channel or if you want to support me um yeah click the like button subscribe to my channel and yeah take a look at my blender market or gumroad page see you there and bye